And good evening, ladies, and happy, happy, happy Monday. Monday, June 22nd, 2015. I'm actually just stopping in real quickly this evening. It's probably about 11 p.m. And that is just basically to tell you that I have officially started my Clomid. And so here it is. I went earlier today to go for my monitoring here in Virginia. They called me back this afternoon and said everything was wonderful. So, I'm sorry, I feel like I was gonna work for something. <clears throat> so that is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And so basically I'll be taking my climate from cycle days five through nine. Uh, so far, the only thing that I've really done is from the very beginning of my cycle, cycle day one, up until now, I've been drinking my palm juice, which is pomegranate juice. Um, and pomegranate juice helps with your uterine lining if you drink it in the very beginning of your cycle. Uh, so I'm gonna be drinking that from cycle days one to seven. And just so you know, I've spoken about this on my channel before, but just in case you're new, like newly subscribed. So they want you to drink like 100% pomegranate juice, not the one that's like blended with pomegranate and berries and all sorts of other things. So if you can get the pomegranate juice, that'd be wonderful. Tomorrow before I leave, I will definitely show you what the bottle looks like just in case it's something you're interested in getting. Uh, but as for me and my feelings, I am excited about this cycle. Um, Again, I'm definitely taking it one day at a time. Like I literally catch myself in the morning now just dwelling on which cycle day it is and then just thinking about it and taking it one day at a time. I don't want it to go really fast and I want it to speed up like I normally do. I just want to take it in and that's about it. Uh, so every night I have been journaling because journaling seems to be a very good way or a very good outlet to, you know, to just go over my feelings about the cycle, what I'm thinking, write down my prayers, wishes, promises, and all sorts of things. So um, I'm definitely happy about that and it'll definitely be something that I can look back on as the cycles continue. But other than that, that's about it. My plan is definitely to come in every consecutive day up until cycle day nine, which means five through nine. Um, even if it doesn't, even if it's not about like what I've done during the day, which is vlog that you're used to. Um, even if it's not about what I've done during the day, if I don't vlog that day, I will still come back at night just to give an overview or a run through on what happened and things like that. I usually am not one of those people that experiences uh, clomid side effects immediately. I have done two videos on that, uh, like a part one and a part two as far as my clomid side effects and I will put them in a car here somewhere and at any point you can click it and it will take you to that video so that you can see like what my side effects are and things like that but usually on five through nine i don't get any side effects immediately it seems like the following week is when i would start to experience anything <sighs> all right ladies i'm gonna get going and hurrah to cycle one so it is 10 p.m and it is pill time cycle day six my second day of clomid the white pill is clomid the yellowish looking pill the gel pill is a dha and then the pink pill is my prenatal pills good evening ladies so i just finished taking my pills that you just saw my clomid and prenatal pill the dha and i take them in the evening time mainly because uh, when i first was starting to take clomid for the first round people talked about how bad the side effects were and things and so i figured well, if I eat before and I take it at night, then maybe it'll lessen the side effects. So that is the main reason why I take my Clomid and things at night, almost right before bed. It is probably 10.30 now, 10.40ish. And cycle day six, <laughs> cycle day six. And it's Tuesday, June 20 something. I'm not really sure what today's date is. But maybe it's 23rd or 24th. I will post it somewhere in here and you'll know what day it is. But so far, so good. Oh, I'm home. I'm home. I am home. I got home later this afternoon. Oh, and I have something to show you. When I got home, the first thing I did, well, after using the bathroom, was go to look at my plants. And so what I'm gonna try to do so you can see the progress is to find the clip from last week's vlog and then I'll post it right before I post a clip for this week's vlog of what the plants look like. So take a look. I 
at what they look like now. I came back from vacation and was like, oh, they are so beautiful. All the little stalks are pretty good. There are five of them. And I initially planted six. And then look at the tomato bin. Well, we thought, you know, the tomato bin was gonna have some problems. This is the one that I left with last week. It just looks something like that. And now it looks like this. And then there is a third one popping up as well. So I'm very excited by its progress. It's going pretty fast, these two. I was so surprised and so excited and so happy because they're growing and they're flourishing and they're so absolutely beautiful. And I have more tomato plants, which I'm shocked and appalled and surprised and all sorts of things because I didn't think that I was going to have very many tomato plants after our little disaster we had. Oh, and I think I didn't say last week is that I ended up just slicing holes in the bottom of it. I used a knife and it didn't crack or break or anything like that. The cucumber plants, I'm actually going to end up transporting somewhere during this week the beginning of next week because they are bigger and they grow very large so i'm gonna need to transfer them into something bigger and then put sticks along them because they grow like upwards and they'll need some sticks or something to grow on to <sighs> but other than that i am feeling good i'm still feeling good which is good uh in terms of decisions being made there are still none <laughs> this is the most gone with the wind cycle i've had but they are still none. And considering I'm cycle day six, I pretty much have until about cycle day 10 or cycle day 11 to decide on this whole Avadril thing, on if we're going to do Avadril, and also if we're going to do an IUI. You know, I mean, that's, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. <clears throat> So I either go in on cycle day 10 or cycle day 11. Um, my doctor, she, she, I mean, last cycle that I did the clomid, I ended up going in on cycle day 11. And that's because cycle day 10 was a Sunday. And the place that I gotta have, that I have to go on Sunday is not the actual place like my doctor's office. And so I didn't feel like going there. And she said it was fine. It wasn't really a big deal with it being another day. Um, so basically, I have, I'm going to give myself between now and the end of taking Clomid, which is cycle day nine, to really decide what it is that we would like to do. I'll start my OPKs. That's a good question. Hold on a second. Let me think. Because I'm doing, I'm using the digital OPK this time around, which is my clear blue monitor. And I did not bring it to Virginia because I wasn't expecting to get my period. And you have to put the input the dates between cycle day one and cycle day four. And I was already past cycle day four today because today I'm cycle day six. So it's about two days behind. Um, but generally it would want me to start uh, taking my OPKs on cycle day six. So if I'm cycle day six today, then cycle day eight will be when I would actually start doing my OPKs on the clear blue monitor. So that'll give you something different to look at. Uh, other than that, I'm back home. So I'll be back out and doing things and seeing things. And I will still be popping in every night just to let you know how I'm feeling. Uh, the journaling is really going very well. That's what I'm about to tell you. The name of the app that I downloaded on my phone, I have an iPhone, it's called My Secret Diary. So if you want to download something similar, you can download it. It's called My Secret Diary. And I just go in, just write how I feel, add little stickers and all sorts of stuff. So, and it's very good. It's very good. Um, I think when I get to cycle day nine, which will be the end of my clone, I'm probably going to write a letter to my future child. And I've really been thinking about that lately. So probably what I'm going to do. All right, ladies, hope you're having a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello, ladies, and happy, happy Tuesday. I am waiting to cross the street. There's the traffic. Uh, and to see, oh, wait, I think my phone is ringing. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Oh. Yeah, I'm waiting across the street. I am downtown. We just got home yesterday. I have no groceries, so I need to go to Whole Foods. And of course, my Whole Foods is Babies Are Rest. I'm gonna stop in the Babies Are Rest real quick. There was an item that I bought last week that I didn't actually get a chance to show you before I left for Virginia. So if I see it while I'm in there, I'll definitely show it to you. But the goal for today is to get some groceries so that we can eat um, two days out of the week. I won't actually be at my house. I don't have to get too many things because 
I'll be at my dad's um, to do the things that we're doing with my dad this week for fun. I know I did these in a haul, I think in my very first weekly vlog, and I just want to update you and let you know that these are actually my favorite. I was concerned with whether I like them or not because of the color, but I love them. And so this is my bag I'm carrying around. And then this is the winter hoodie that I wear on the train and the bus. And in the supermarket when it is freezing, it's actually my husband's. organic fresh chicken was on sale but they didn't say which one and apparently it's drumsticks and I don't like drumsticks. There's a particular part of the chicken that you don't actually like or buy. I mean obviously it all tastes like chicken but for me I don't like drumsticks and I don't like breast so if I'm going to the supermarket to buy chicken for me to cook I'm only gonna buy thighs or I'm going to buy wings. So I'm just curious if there's other people out there in the world that are like this. So I'm here in the pepper area and would you like to see something really cool that I've actually never seen before? I am unsure on what type of pepper this is, but it's all the colors. It's orange, yellow, and red. I'm calling them organic flame bell peppers. So me and the car are heading upstairs, and I'm almost done shopping. Helado, helado, helado. do my whole food haul. Um, I have a feeling that this video is going to be way long, like way long. And the only reason why is because I do enjoy sharing what I do throughout different days and things. Um, but then when we come with me coming back in the night, going over it, just like me taking Clomid and things like that and how my cycle was actually going, it's going to make it longer. Um, initially the days were done where I would just vlog like three or four days, like a little bit of something and put them all together as a weekly vlog. Um, but now I've just been cutting it off at I think 25 minutes. Anywhere between 25 and 30 minutes, I try to keep it around there, more so probably between 20 and 25 minutes. And then if not, then I will just um, make the vlog begin from another point in the week. And so it's almost as if I am daily vlogging to an extent because at least once a day I pull out the camera. I may skip one or two days in the week, um, but for the most part, it's almost like every day trying to fit it in. So just in case you're watching and you're thinking, hmm, this is a really long video. That's probably Wait, why. Hopefully it's all. Organic baby arugula. Organic mixed vegetables. Sweet yellow corn. Broccoli florets. And these are, hopefully you can see through the bag, but they're just two green zucchinis. Applegate's Good Morning Bacon. Garlic and herb pork chops. The turkey with lemon pepper patties. I said turkey with. <laughs> Yeah, turkey burgers with lemon pepper. And then lastly, these Cajun chicken wings. I realized that I almost forgot to show you what the palm juice container looks like. This is a pretty large one. They have them um, in different sizes. This is the biggest one it comes in, which is 48 fluid ounces, and it's $10. They do have smaller ones. I don't know how much they cost, but I usually just get this one. Before I forget, because I almost totally forgot to show you the one little thing that I picked up today. 
And so here it is. It is a onesie. I think this is koala bear too. And it says little traveler, has a little passport and a compass. And it's just so cute. I absolutely love it. The significance is that me and my husband love to travel. So I cannot wait to have a little baby in this little outfit. And if it's a girl, it's going to have a little blue bow on its head. Um, but yeah, so I absolutely love it. I would have loved for it to be in different size, but this was the last one they had, and it's a newborn size. And it was only $2.98. And so before I forget again, I'm going to go down here in the nursery and take that outfit out of the closet that I got last week that you actually did not see. I bought it just before I ended up leaving to go see my in-law. So once I'm in the closet in the nursery. But um, so this is it. I love it because it's unisex and I love the color. Something about this color, this like off-white kind of color with this like natural brown color, I love. Uh, it was on sale. I believe I got it for $9.90 and not $12.99. But isn't this the cutest? You see that little bunny? And it has like a very nice threading on it. And it looks just so cute. And so this outfit, I got it a while back. I don't know if you remember it, but it has like, it's by Carter's and it has like a little koala bear on the butt and stuff. And so I was in Carter's today and I saw that they have it in a very like nice off-white cream color that I'm thinking about getting. And that they actually have it in pink just in case someone has a girl and they'd like to get it in pink. Let me hold it out so you actually could see it just in case you couldn't see it before. It has a little onesie on the inside. And then on the back, it has a little bear. And the feet are fully covered, but just in case, you know. All right, ladies, so I just finished making dinner. I'll show you what I made real quickly. Today has been an awesome day. I'm psycho day seven. I'm actually going to take my pills a little earlier because I'm just going to take it right after I eat. So this way I don't have to try to eat something again later tonight. And that's usually what I would end up doing, eating dinner. When closer to nine or ten, just eat something small so that I can take the pills and things. But... I'm just going to do all at one time with dinner. Asian um, wings that you had saw earlier that I had bought from the supermarket. There's some white rice. And then there is some broccoli. Hope you, have, you ladies are having a great day. And I will talk to you soon. And I know this fried chicken is going to taste it real good. I haven't made fried chicken in what seems like forever at least a year at least a minimum of a year because i mean i love cooking but fried chicken is not the thing that i love to make now i can eat it but i don't actually love to cook it so i'm just gonna it's gonna be good it stuff is, whew, it is cycle day eight for me and it is thursday june 25th i believe it's june 25th June 25th, 2015, I was just about to hop in the shower and I realized I did not do my video. Excuse me. So, today was supposed to be my first day of OPKs and as per usual, I always seem to forget on the first day. You know, you get used to, you know, like a cycle of just getting up, going to the bathroom in the morning and moving on with your life. Um, but with OPKs, you need to do them, and so I completely forgot, but it's a good thing that my clear blue monitor lets me do it between 5 a.m. and 11 a.m., and I did go out a little earlier today, so I ended up had to, having to take it while I was out. Uh, so here are the results of that. for just only being cycle day eight. Uh, today is my fourth day of Clomid and I took it when I ate my dinner this evening. It's probably, it's earlier right now, it's probably about 9 p.m. or so, I'm gonna hop in the shower. <sighs> and tomorrow is my very last day of Clomid. One thing I will tell you is that we did make a decision and our decision for this month is to try it just with the Clomid. We have decided not to to do Opadrill, and we also have decided not to do IDYs this month. So that is the decision. <sighs> it took a lot of thought and just a lot of just everything. And so that is what we came up with. So fingers and toes crossed that Clomid will do its job. And um, 
I mean, it did its job this la that last time. And so hopefully with the combination of Intercourse and Clomid, it'll work. Because last time it was Clomid, Avidril, back-to-back IUIs, and Intercourse. So we're only doing two, but I believe that we can make it happen. I'm definitely a believer in making it happen, and I think that the Clomid really helps. So... Yes, just keep me in your prayers, guys. Keep me in your prayers. Um, other than that, I will talk to you tomorrow. Hey, ladies, and happy Friday. I am in Grand Central Terminal because I'm heading to go to my dad's house so that we can do the fun things with him. In order to get to my dad's house, I have to take the Metro North train. And the Metro North train leaves from here, so let me just show it to you really quickly. Focus camera, okay. It's a really beautiful place. They've done a lot of different movies here and things. It's very nice. If you have a chance to stop by when you come to New York, you definitely should. It's free. You just walk right on in. And there's an apple store up there. I don't know if you can see the apple. But in Grand Central, upstairs, they have a lot of different stores. You can go shopping. And then downstairs, where the train tracks are, they have a different, like, dining area where you can go and buy food and things like that. So I'm heading downstairs. That's where my train is. Um, but today I am cycle day nine, last day of COVID, so I am excited about that. Um, and I'm excited about going to my dad's house, the surprise that I have for him for Father's Day. That should be fun. Oh, and it's lunchtime. And so while I'm here on the train, I can kind of tell you what um opened up and closed. I took my OPK earlier today, and so I will let you see the results for cycle day nine. And it is blue. Okay, so I am at my dad's house, of which I've been for several hours now. And I literally was just in the recliner, laid back, eating chips and salsa, watching YouTube, and doing all sorts of other fun things. Um, but I just finished eating, and I took my very final clove and pill on cycle day nine. So that is truly exciting. I am gonna do my journal tonight. I did mention earlier in the video that I do want to make like a letter to our future child and so I will be doing that this evening and I'm very excited about this cycle and I just can't wait it's just things are working out and working good and that's always good and that's always fun and my dad isn't here yet but he'll be here soon eventually but the babe is actually in there he got off of work he ended up coming here to my dad's house so that's fun but tomorrow I'm super excited because I get to take my dad out for Father's Day because I wasn't here this year for Father's Day because I was in my, at my in-laws house and we usually swap it out every year anyway so that's going to be fun fun times and so that will probably be the beginning of next week's video what I end up doing with my dad um, also I've just been doing a lot of things and working on a lot of things um, the main thing being that I am like officially launching my business in 2016 so that is very good i don't know if you guys know but i have a business that i do like natural bath and body products with and i started it about three to four years ago and then when i got ready to get married i ended up putting it on hold because i was finding myself having to juggle between planning the wedding and planning everything for that um, and so since then, I've been doing little things here and there. Um, but at the beginning of this year, I said that I definitely want to hone in on that one thing. And so I'm going to be doing that. And in January, I will be launching, which is good. Um, my graphic designer is back to working on all of my stuff, which is great because I absolutely love her. Um, I started working with her for the graphic design stuff for my business branding. And then I put that on hold and then had her working on stuff for my wedding and she did everything for my wedding and then my husband turned 30 when he turned 30 and we had that big like uh surprise birthday cruise and everything she did all the design work for that and so i am just super excited about everything just everything is going well and i am very happy so i hope everything is going well with you and yeah that's it i can't believe that i am in this first cycle like it's just so 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 crazy 
but I'm still definitely taking it one day at a time and I'm super appreciative for what has gone on so far um, and I'm very happy with the decision that we made for this very first cycle and hopefully we won't have to make no more decisions because I'll get my bed. <laughs> Alright ladies, I'll talk to you later and have a great week.